Hello everyone, welcome back to the Power Rangers Dino Supercharge Vlog. I hate saying that title. Yeah, I know, it's kind of stupid for me complaining about the word super, but they even say it in the show. We are Dino Power Rangers Dino Supercharge! And then it commence explosive diarrhea. <laughs> or explosive parts, whatever. Why does everything have to explode behind them? Well, anyway, today's episode is A Date with Danger. A chase episode. Well, Chase starts showing off in front of a, his new girlfriend, Kaylee, and we also discover Chase is a little shallow. He don't like girls who are better than in certain categories, like one beat him in push-ups. That's a prime example, which I found kind of stupid. And at the same time, Snide, with Wrench and Fury, meets a new monster called Singe that looks a little bit like a giant demonic candle. I'm not going to question. And he also has that attitude of shoot first. Well, not shoot first. Shoot everything as long as my target gets shot. So I'm pretty sure it's taking notes from Vegeta. Throughout this whole time, it's just all that. And we also get another side story with Tyler trying to get more information of his dad. And we discovered that his dad got lost in a cave. That, all that looking, all that wondering about Fury and all that stuff, and his dad was in a cave. He could have just, but yeah, he just got a letter from a guy telling him what happened. So I'm having some theories, and I'm questioning, if he's the Aqua Ranger, I'm just going to throw something up in the air and say I'm done right now. But yeah, all this is going on at once, and they mostly focus on Chase. While Chase and his bro broke up girlfriend because of the fact that he's just spending so much time like might as well just be kissing in a mirror for what he, he was doing just showing off what he can do and during that time she just broke off walked away well not broke it up yet but still the monster starts attacking the city and he just comes in him and Tyler morph and they're fighting and because of the fact there was a woman in the way he Chase rescued her and put her in the, ironically, in the car of his broke-up girlfriend. And we soon discovered she has a crush on Chase as a ranger. That's kind of funny. He starts even having a conversation with himself saying, I can't believe I just came in and took her underneath my nose. That is the most weirdest thing I've ever heard someone having an argument with himself about. And Shelby comes in and explains, what do you know about her? He literally just stood there and paused because he did not know anything about her. Which, usually in a relationship, you need to at least know who you're dating. All we got is her name. And I wasn't even given that long of an info. I had to wait till like closely halfway to the end to know her real name. But yeah, basically Chase decides, okay, I'm going to go on a date with her as the Black Ranger. And he starts doing that, even getting know about a lot about her. So that was at least nice enough, but yeah, it's not going to work when you're dressed up as the guy who you're supposed to be spending your time saving the day. It's even bad enough that even Keeper does the hammering to the head. So yeah, there was no real point of having all this relationship problems. And when Chase decides, as his ranger self, we need to break up. And tries to at least defend his normal self about why he, what's the word, show off. Yeah, lucky for us that the monsters decided to attack her while Chase was not morphed. And we end up getting her falling in love with him again. Lucky about that. Also, for those who didn't notice, Fury and the monster Singe, that's the candle monster, are having what you would call a massive dick-waving contest. They are trying to outman the other, or out-monster the other. Well, in the original, they're demons, but still. And nobody actually got killed, though we did get a giant Zord battle with, with Singe. It was canceled because Fury shrunk him. And I'm still questioning. So we have all the rangers... Our Graphite Ranger makes sense of why he ain't in the fight due to the fact that he's busy ruling a kingdom. But what's Kendall's excuse? Is she supposed to be the tech person or the actual fighter? She has the energy. 
and yet she'll just send out their, her Zord just to help out anytime she needs to. Whatever. Anyway, Singe is proven to be a worthy fighter. He took the Plessy Zord on, and he still stood. He got blasted and slashed, and he's still standing with not even a mark. If it wasn't for Fury, I'm pretty sure the Rangers would have got their asses whooped. What? And lastly, we get Chase getting a second chance with Kaylee about all that, and hopefully he'll do a better job in the relationship. But then again, this is Chase. We don't know what he'll do. And we even get the end joke of Chase ignoring a girl and forgot that the grill was lit on fire. Sorry for the quick summary, but that's it. really not that much interesting that happened in this episode. It's just the usual stuff. And with splitting the story into multiple pieces, it was kind of annoying where you had to focus on all that parts. This episode is not what I would like, but at least we're getting a bigger threat on the, on the other hand. And yeah, I stick with the theory if... Tyler's dad's going to be the Aqua Ranger. And this has been Rasa, the complete hot ass. Oh, you want to fight your little piece of crap? I will tear you apart like I did with the computer! Did anyone ever tell you not to bring a sword to a gunfight? Oh, crap.